plays Resident Evil Zero. We, uh, this is part seven. Now, uh, last time when we played, um, got a little bit stuck. Uh, uh, I'm dealing with the boss uh, that's in the church. So, uh, off screen, I, uh, off screen, I made sure to go get the grenade launcher. I got the shotgun. I got the pistol. I made sure I have uh, everything ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, grab the grenade launcher rounds. That way, this one I'm just like fully loaded. I got full health, so I, I didn't have to deal with the monkeys this time because I did everything right. So I get the grenade launcher all set up, and here we go. All right, this time I'm not gonna mess us up. We're gonna kill this thing right here, right now. Freaking bad. All right. Uh oh. Oh shoot, that's the wrong button. Oh shoot. Crap, crap, move it down, move it down, move it down. Ow. I might have forgotten the button right there for a second. It's been a little bit since I played. Oh, what, what the hell? You picked me up again. This might not be, the grenade launcher just might not be the best weapon for this guy. There we go. Oh, got him again. Ooh. Uh, switch to the shotgun for the moment. Ah, there's so many. Oh. Uh oh. Fine. There's so many. Ah, crap, 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 crap. This is not easy. There's just a bunch of them moving. The aiming is not very good. Oh god, I'm already in danger. I... This is gonna be hard. I am not a fan of this boss fight. On buttons. I think the it's the small bats that make it even harder because it's you. It's hard to shoot these things when they're moving this way. Oh, well, there we go. Did it? There we go. Holy crap! Eh, hi, Devil Bird. <laughs> you get like any? No? Okay. I was wondering if there was like. All right, I'm gonna save again because I do not want to have to deal with that dang boss anymore. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab. Um, come on. There we go. Yeah, now I just hopeful. Now I'm gonna have to try and keep him safe because he's at danger. So that's just gonna be fun to deal with until I hopefully I can find some help.
The bats just seem to mess you up more. Oh no. Pick out the pick out the pistol ammo. Oh yeah, I gotta drop the uh <sighs> drop these. And then we can draw and then I can pick that up. I, I need to stop pressing the start button. Alright, now that we've done beat that boss. Alright, so... What now? Nothing... No real cutscene like, but besides the... It looks like you could use something to get up there. Oh? Oh, the grappling hook. But wait, would, is there a grappling hook? I remember there was a grappling hook you could use back all the way back at the train, but I don't have that anymore. That's gone. That was way, way back. Is there anything else inside the church? Is there anything else inside the church? do I do? go back there's nothing else over here I can interact with for the, at the time uh, after I beat the bat I already know I'm gonna have to be very careful I haven't seen another, the only, I wonder, I have an idea, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Oh shit, I better. I was ready for you, bitches. Dead? Oh, what the heck? Oh! I'm moving her. I'm moving her, but I'm still playing as him. I didn't know you can do that. Okay, so... Let's see this door again. Oh, hello. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so... Okay, good. This is actually a safe way. I have an idea. We're gonna see if this works. Uh, if I remember right, after the train scene when it crashed, a bunch of items that I never picked up were still laying on the ground. So I'm wondering if I, and I think the hook shot was there. So I'm wondering if I head down there, 
If I head back over there, can I... Can I get the hood shot? Well, let's find out. the hook shot oh oops I should be able to get the hook shot if I just go back I'm pretty sure I would have left it back here I didn't think I was gonna need the hook shot uh, it's so late in the game That was left around this area. Oh, there's the knife. Doesn't seem like there is. Okay, so I just need to pick the hook shot up. Uh, what's her inventory looking like? She can pick it up. That way I don't have to lead the grenade launcher all the way back here. Yep. Eat it a couple of times, it's annoying to carry that thing around. Oh, is that right? See, I didn't realize I was gonna need it so late in the game. But up to this point, uh, since that train, since the train portion of the game, I haven't had to use it. Well, luckily, I use, I give most of the big weapons to the, to the guy and just leave her to hold on to like healing and healing and uh, the ink pads so luckily she usually has more space than the guy I just hope I can find some healing items soon uh, you know what I'll go check over there okay otherwise to it I think we've played with this uh, had this look let's switch up their looks let's do something different um, uh, Western why not I want to just real quick want to give the characters a different look since I've had the same looks for a little bit. Uh, let's do Wolf Force. Why not? <laughs> let's do Wolf Force. Okay. Switch again. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, move out the way. I want a real quick save real quick do the save so I don't have to worry about going all the way back boots <laughs> yeah all right all right now let's just go back the same way I came so I don't have to deal with more of those monkeys I'm gonna lead with her for the time being since She's got more health. Don't want to take the risk of dying. Alright. Actually, probably should have just waited to save until I got until I got to the church because I could just save there. Oh well. Hopefully the monkey. I don't. Hopefully the monkeys don't respawn. He looks like a Saiyan with the scouter. Ah, he does, doesn't he? Act? He kind of does look like he's trying to do his own version of Vegeta. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well. Let's get on going. 
Well, now I know I'm gonna definitely try my best to keep the grappling hook on me at all times, or at least try and do what I did when I was going through the mansion. I just kept most of the, I kept like the grenade launcher or whatever I didn't need in a specific room that I always kept revisiting. Alright, uh, no, no, that just made me go out the door. Uh, I'm guessing I gotta press use on the grappling hook. Ah, come on. Yeah, I love the controls of these old games. They work great. They definitely didn't make these controls to to frustrate people. That is the amount of times you can still use it. It's not too far from each other, to be honest. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Oh, oh okay, come on. Use. Yep, there we go. I remember right, I'm pretty sure I have to use it with uh, the girl anyway. If I remember right, so I had to put it, had her, have her pick it up no matter what. Okay, what's this? I'm down the ladder. All right. What is this gonna do? I do love the anim, uh, the load screen animation. That's kind of eerie just seeing like. Uh, this circuit breaker appears to be... Oh, is that right? Oh, well, the game is weird then. Uh, to the elevator, lift the handle. Yeah, do that. I love the, this remaster. They definitely did a great job making this older game look really good. Uh, is that it? Oh. Well, here's a... Can't heal with that. And I'm not right now, but... I will at least be able to let me make a stronger, uh... Healing thing. That everything around here seems to be. Oh, uh, the music in this game is absolutely tremendous. It's so eerie. I love it. The shame that it's taking me so long to play the Resident Evil games. Uh, but I just never grew up with a system with the PlayStation, so I just never really got to, to play it. So, uh, I should probably just switch. No point in, uh... Wasting that. Making her walk all the way back. I'm just realizing that the lock on the door that made it where you it made okay. it, so you had to do a one-on-one -on -one with the boss, isn't, uh, the lock isn't active anymore. Oh, I just go out the door. Yeah, I'm very happy that I finally have taken the time to play the Resident Evil games. Yeah, I've noticed that all the boss fights, one of the characters get, like, either taken out of the equation somehow. Um, but I'm glad that I'm finally doing this. Uh, I've always dated, like, Resident Evil, especially in the movies. That's where mainly what I've known on Resident Evil was the movies. I've always enjoyed them, so... Now I'm glad that I'm finally playing the game. I do plan on playing them all on this channel. Starting with this one, then I'll definitely play... <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a great series. This place looks lovely. Biology books. What's that? Marker's Diary 2. The page has been torn down. Trouble is unlikely, but I cl closed my babies up in a special capsule, but it won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I'll hide it in this place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys could figure out how to make it. I delete. We gotta find a book. A specific book. Hide a leaf in a forest. So we're looking for a specific book. 
Oh, oh, well, here's another moment where I have to use the grappling hook. Well, I definitely... Well, I'm definitely loving this game, and I actually have played a little bit of Resident Evil 1. Um... I did. Pl I I didn't finish it. That's the thing about I me. Mean, I played some of the Red Evils. I just never got a chance to finish them. Oh well. Here we go. We can save right here. That's just the thing with me. I just I never. Uh, I always get distracted and I never end up going back to the game. So I don't. I never got far in Red Evil Zero though. I don't think I ever. I, I'm pretty sure like maybe I got to the Jill sandwich. The like oh you almost came a Jill. You almost became a Jill sandwich. <laughs> I don't know if that line is even in Remastered. What about Resident Evil 4? Uh, I have played... Once again, I've played Resident Evil 4. Here's to be connected to the Operation Room. Is that something to do it? Uh, no, not yet. So we're going to be doing that puzzle again. Um... I played a little Resident Evil 4 once again, never beat the game, but my mother did actually. Uh, my mother actually played through Resident Evil. Uh, actually played through Resident Evil 4 and beat the game when I was younger. Uh, so, I plan on doing that once I get through Resident e all the Resident Evils. I'll play through them all in order. Or the best order, I, at least I know. I'll play through like the ones that have the numbers first, and then I'll probably try and play the uh, the the other ones that have. Um... Yeah, my mom uh, doesn't play too many games, but uh, that's the oh, the very first game I remember her playing and beating through. Oh, okay, so we got some oh, toss. Oh crap! Nope, nope, nope. Not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. Uh-uh. Not dealing with it. There's a button here. Press it. Sure. Oh, okay. Oh. That's not good. Is that where... Is he dealing with this? No, he's not. Yep, but I know that's alright outside that door. It's locked. Why is that music playing? I'm not even where that thing is. There's a key item there behind the monster. You can just collect it and run back if you're quick. Ah! Fuck. Oh, there's help here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be quick because our boy Marcus here, our boy, uh, no, his name is Marcus, is Billy. Fuck, I think that's what his name is. What's his name, Billy? Shit, I forgot his name. Yeah, it's a good thing I was able to get that. He's still in caution. Good thing Billy is a freaking tank. Good old Billy here. Good thing he's a fucking tank. Ah, uh, I'll just leave that there for right now. Okay. Another damn, another saving point. Got some Molotovs here. Hey. Uh, I mean, we can make some Molotovs. That's just from what, with all the freaking, uh, I think they're, they're Marcus's clones, like, 
bug clones or something. I don't know what they are. Uh, shoot. I need to, real quick, leave this and pick this up so I can make the Molotovs. Yeah, they're like Marcus clones or whatever. And I, I do not like dealing with them because they are freaking very tough. Uh, just leave that there. She's not hurt, and I'm feeling I'll probably come back here eventually. And if need be, I can come back up here. Looks like a high jump down. Okay, so I can't go there. Right, uh, I've noticed that they're, they're actually, the market clones are actually probably, from what I've realized, more much a lot easier to dodge than the actual zombies because unlike the zombies that just lunge and actually no matter what you seem to do they always seem to grab a hold of you uh the the clones do that this wide arc of like a swipe with that tentacle which if you're depending on the the angle you can kind of easily just oh it kind of always misses you depending if you like move correctly so I, they're a lot easier to dodge than the zombies it took me a second to just realize that it was just better to do that. Okay, so can I open this door? Oh, I can. Okay, go back, go back. This is something that I do like about. I've realized that I like about the the Resident, e the older Resident Evils. I think it's just in one, two, this one. No, this one, one. I'm not sure about two and three. I haven't played those yet, but I know in these. Game. I like the, the load. Oh shit! The load of screen animation. Are you one too? No. Okay. Oh god, this is. Jeff Show is on. Come here. What is this? It appears to be a device to put gas into the next room. Device is empty. Oh, okay, yeah, so, um, I'm definitely gonna like all of those games, because I just like, I, it's, it's something small, but it gives an extra eeriness to these games, because from what I've, I've played Red and Evil 4, 4 kind of kept the horror aspect to the game, but I feel like in five, when 5, 6, and uh, 5 and 6 came out, kind of left, they, I felt like they left the horror genre and went more into action. And then 7, from what I understand, definitely went back into a horror. Uh, I own 7, so I definitely just plan on playing that. I'm in the view. You both done? Oh, there's another one coming. Oh, okay, so this will allow me to send stuff. Oh, you know, I could probably go grab those healing items and then send it down to Billy so then he can have more health. I'll probably do that. Oh! Oh, this is lovely. Crap, crap, crap. Well, it's a good thing I made these. Alright, now she's hurt, so I'm gonna have to give her the healing items, because I don't know how much I'm doing with her alone. Oh, well, well, I will be using the elevator, though, to send up the ammunition. I forgot I left the ammo on, uh... There is a first sniper in this room. There it is. Must have missed it. Where is it? Oh, there's he's a no. Uh, Leeds Grove Records from for February 13, 1978. Uh, I'll leave this for a few seconds just so if people ever wanted to read this stuff. February 10th. So we did like two days later. Yikes. Alright, guys, so like four, 
oh, like, month later, preceded them with the life feed, but lost half when they, when the life feed fought back. However, the leeches are learning from the experience and are beginning to through the attack behavior, they are also ceasing cannibalism. Their evolution, no, no. They were cannibals. Leeches are no longer. Even when not feeding, they move as a collective. Mm -hmm. They can do everything I offer with remarkable efficiency. Oh, look at that. April 30th, the day after my birthday. An employee had stumbled into my experiments. Can a human be food source? How will the whole count now? A day where yikes, yikes, yikes. They're beginning to mimic me. Surely they recognize their father. Wonderful children, no one will take you away. Oh, this is just lovely. Alright, so right where, on the, where the zombie grabbed me. I'm not seeing her. God. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, there's... In the other room. Oh, in here where I killed the zombie. With the Molotov. I gotta head back in this room anyway, because I'm gonna send down the shotgun ammo to Billy. So he can have that. Yep, we're gonna send down the shotgun ammo. There we go. I need to drop. And let's just drop the, uh, the grenade launcher for now. Don't need to constantly hold that. Yep, take that. And then we're gonna also, we're gonna give her the pistol ammo. So, go, yep, I would like to send the pistol ammo up. Yep, send that up. Oh, excuse me. And that way, now, just in case, because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be having. Wait here. Oh, yeah, until I hear two. We were about 11. Just turned out 11. Where are I, man? All right, 15, there we go. Oh, let's switch. <laughs> let's not walk around with fire. All right. Child is lined with a number of poisonous looking chemicals. Oh, lovely. All the labels have been ripped off. That's just beautiful. That's definitely safe. Oh, and this entire floor is covered with blood. This is just an amazing place. Oh, yep, there it is. You use it. There we go. Probably should have used that on Billy, but I can actually just make the green red herb thing and send that down to him. So that then make some kind of cat will go put into the camp set. Sure, why not? Cover with fill. This place is just Bye bye. Uh, investigation report. Dr. Martin's co founder with President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation disappeared 20 years ago. The result of his research has been kept under wraps this entire time. The reason became clear here at the training company run by Dr. Martin. Well, not here exactly, but underground. When we ventured below, we understood that we found the evidence Dr. Mouse did research into the T-Virus protocol called... Ooh, right there. 
the evidence of years of hideous experiment that used company employees as guinea pigs. We cannot know how many were forced to become subject, but based on the evidence, no less than 20 individuals were involved. Some of them were taken delivery to keep their company secrets safe. When the doctor, where the doctor is now, I do not know, but considering the recent rapid growth of the Umbrella Corporation, I can't help but think that this research is continuing. Yes, his experiment lives and continues to grow in the dark. Those things are, those things, the fruit of his research, they fill the facility. Oh, and, and there's some, well that would have been good to know, you know, before we venture deep into this place. Okay, so this door, this thing also, so it's one of these doors again. So, can't do anything here. So let's head back. Okay, so I'm not too sure what I can do now because it seems like the door, both of those doors that's in that one area are missing something. This, I got, looks like I gotta put something in it. Can I open the door? It's full of poison and gas at the second, okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's head back this way. Okay, so, I'm in a bit of pickle. So I know that, here's me because I know he's not actually here. Locked. Can I press the button again? Then I press that one more. Okay. What's through this door? Did I even go through this door? Oh yeah, I've been through here. And I can't really do anything because... this up so oh I didn't realize uh, I got that follow I really wish I had the notification thing all right well, we can go ahead and combine these next time I head over to that machine all right I know it's in here so It's too high to jump down. So I can't jump down. That's just ink ribbons. I don't want to pick those. Oh, actually, I can go ahead and just pick those up. Those are stack, right? Yeah, they stack. Um. Yeah, that was a waste of a bullet. That door is closed. can't do anything. So what should I be doing now? Every time I hear that sound. Let's back through this door again. Let's head back through here and see what, if I miss it. Oh. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in this room, but we're gonna have to find out. Come on. Ooh. Ow. Hey, hey, what the no? Ow. Let's go! Uh, no. I can't see him. No, he got a hold of me again. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Uh, heal. Yep, I knew it. 
Press and release samples. Press A? Yeah, take one. One of the capsules is glowing. Yes. Yes, take it. We got through. I had a feeling that it was right behind the thing. I had a feeling it was there. I ended up having to use the healing item. Alright. So... We got a capsule, so maybe I gotta put it in here because I'm in gas. Uh, let's try using this use. I can't use this right now, why not? Use. You don't need to use this right now. Well, why not? Yeah, I'm not in the right position. Well, I'm just kind of stuck because I thought this capsule would have gone in here. It appears. Well, yeah, it's empty right now. I have the capsule. Mm, maybe examine it. Appears to contain a specimen of leashes. The the lid won't budge. Maybe it's sealed with some kind of special. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to get the uh some kind of agent to take it off. I have to find like an agent that I'm supposed to use to take the thing off. Um. I'm supposed to use something to take off the, uh, take off that stuff. That's right, it said that, no. Uh, let's switch back to him and, um, I already picked it up. I think I need to go here, files. There we go. Um, let's see, your trouble is, like, we'll be able to open if, to open the casual, the special stripping agent is necessary. Hey, okay, what's the special stripping agent? What's the special stripping agent? Empty though. Uh, hmm. Okay. So my question is, what's the special stripping agent? All the labels have been reached, ripped off. Use? There's gotta be something that tells me. It's, uh, capsule isn't gonna go there. Let's see, can we examine it anymore if we move it around? Yeah, we can see the leads. Oh, there's no... we don't have a... So what's the special material? I 
so what's the special material? see anything like that. Should just drop the bottle. I think I remember. Is there a red contain? Oh, right here. Is already in there? Add it. Yes. Oh, there we go. The stripping agent. I think we just switch this. Combine with that. And oh, we got it. The blue leech. Examine. Oh yeah, I just feel great holding this thing. It looks weird. Blue sculptures. Form of a leech. Alright. Now, do we... Appears to be a device for pumping gas. See right now. Maybe now I do this? Use. No? So what do I use the blue leech for? Oh wait, maybe this is what I'm supposed to use for the doors. I keep thinking I'm gonna be messing with that gas immediately. Maybe I'm wrong since the capsule was taken away. Maybe I'm. Yeah, I think I, if I remember the shape. Yep, here we go. Nothing happened. Maybe you're using the wrong key? So there must. This must be just for the one downstairs then for uh, our boy. All right, Billy. So we'll send this down to him. So, yeah. Yep, turn that down. Okay. So we switch over here. Just gotta be careful not. Take that. And real quick, we're gonna save at this point since we've done a good amount of stuff. I don't want to take any chances of dying since we're playing with Billy again. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And then we can go ahead and save. Looks like we're gonna be we're gonna start saving over stuff. In case they ever messes up, I want to keep a previous save file. So if like I mess up on one, that I can go back previously and then try and fix if I mess something up. So, all right, let's go. We gotta be quick. I do not want to take any hits. Oh, and as I say that. Really? Oh, and. As I say that. We get killed. Oh, Bill Hill, we have two health. Zero. 
able to take two grads in this guy. I'm gonna have to think of a different strategy. I'm thinking I'm gonna pull this guy out, shoot him a few times to try and get rid of his arms, and then that way, and then I can run past him without getting hit. You are entering an insane, an insane world. Oh, you don't say. Oh, wrong button. I'm gonna switch to the shotgun. Holy crap, I didn't realize that. I didn't reload Billy's gun. I guess I should drop. You know what? Just for say side, I'm glad I checked that. Let's, uh, switch. And let's send him the ammo, because I need to reload. I have no ammo with Billy. And I do not want to take the chance of dying. Yep, we'll take that. So I only have, when it comes to the grabs, and I'm guessing the grab does the most damage with these, the Marcus clones, I'll need to make sure that I don't get grabbed. Oh, oh, There's no room! Wow. Never mind, just two hits in general. Yikes. This is gonna be Resident great. Try to zero has there's no room whatsoever in this hallway, so I can't just easily. Uh, I should have saved that one spray. All right, we're just gonna get past this guy. So. I'm tempted to pick up that grenade launcher. Come on! Fuck, just crap. Oh. It's gonna be fun. Zero. Apologize for. He immediately grabs me. I gotta shoot him down so that I can get rid of his. Maybe I can blow him away with a shotgun. This is the only way. I'm the only way I'm gonna be able to get past him because the minute I try to grab him, I just keep pushing him further into my path. Oh come on, the shotgun didn't even blow didn't even blow him away at all. And there's no room for me to dodge his attack. Resident Evil Zero. I might just have to get the girl down here because she's gonna have more health. That or maybe I should just try the damn grenade I'm you know I'm gonna try the grenade launcher. I'm just gonna have to kill this thing. His range is terrifying, and I can only go but so back, far back, back to where I can uh, still see him. So we're gonna drop the grenade. This. We're gonna pick up the grenade launcher. Hopefully, it still got a good amount of shots. It does, and it's the incendiary shot, so it should 
I should be able to kill him with this. But I can only take two hits. And this guy's fucking range is terrible. Turn around over here. Oh, come on. Die, 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 die. <sighs> Yikes. Well, that was... Leave that. Pick up the shotgun. We're just gonna go ahead and save. One last time. We're just gonna save one more time. Yep, override. Just because I don't wanna have to, uh. Oh shoot, I got it. Uh, let me... Drop this. We're gonna go ahead and resend that right, that, the pistol ammo. Guys, that took more time than what I thought. I didn't want to use the grenade launcher because I know you don't get, you only get but so much. And I want to try to save the grenade launcher for boss fights, but there was no way I could get past that guy. I have no help with Billy, so it's just I, I really I don't think I had much of a choice because you can't, as far as I could tell, you, I could not get past the damn uh thing because of how the hallways was there was no room for me to dodge him and then he, he would just keep grabbing me every time i was close so unfortunately i just had no choice there's only a red one down here oh yeah i gotta use yep there we go aqua's release Oh, and I guess there'll be... Oh, it stayed there, so... Miss Man had an obsession with leeches. Unhealthy. Very unhealthy. Okay. Well, at least there's nothing in here. Mysterious objects are floating in the water. Let's just hope they don't come alive. Women in love with the dead man. The skull. Input regular. Okay, we'll grab that. There's nothing else here. Oh. So I'm saying this bitch. Something written on the back of the photograph. To James, your graduate, 1939. Huh. Old photograph. Oh. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son or grandson. Oh. Ooh, more ammo. All right. Well, I think that might be a good stopping point right there. Uh, fortunately, I, to fortunate that the end of the video was mostly me dying to a simple Marcus clone, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Oh, oh, and I cannot wait to continue going through Resident Evil Zero. This is, an, this is very much a fun game. I'm having a lot of fun, and I'm glad I'm finally getting a chance to play through Resident Evil. Uh, like I said, I plan on playing through every one of them if, uh, as soon as I possibly can. Uh, but if you like this video, please leave a like. Shush. Uh, 
share, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. It helps with the channel, helps helps us grow so I can do more and more things to try my best to entertain you guys. And I will see all you guys later.